Hey, how's it going today? We're just going to be doing a borderline transition effect. It's kind of a cool and sleek looking effect. And to get started, I just have my two clips on the same track right now. I can actually delete that track. So you just need one track. And what we're gonna do is just modify the star wipe to create this effect. So we're just gonna go into transitions and we're gonna go to star wipe and, we're, and there it is right there. We're just gonna grab it and drag it to the front end of the second clip. Now, a couple things to notice is when you're dragging your cursor over there, you'll see this fade in offset. And this is what controls the length of the actual transition. So you can see it's there, it's like a second and there it's like two seconds and then all the way to four and well those are your frame that's actually your frame count so it's two seconds and 20 frames so this adjusts the the length of the actual effect so most effects should only be like about one to three seconds so let's just say we'll leave it at two seconds so let's just go ahead and watch the effect and there it is now if you see where it goes black and that's because it, there's nothing underneath it. So what you have to do is just click and drag this over the other clip like that. And make sure your automatic crossfade is not on. So now if we play the clip, just make sure that you like the, the length of the transition, the star wipe transition, and that there's no black comes through. And once you've got that figured out, then we can just go in and make some adjustments here on our settings and that's all there is to it. So for arms, you're just gonna put two. For ratio, you're gonna put zero. For angle, you're gonna put 90. For feather, you're gonna put 0 0.02. And of course, all these can be adjusted to your preferences. These are just initial preference settings I'm starting with, 0 0.01. The color I like black, you can choose white or any other color you want for your transition. So there you got your black. And then for your cycles is one, the waveform is Seesaw. And this is important here, the center is really what makes the effect happen. And you just need to drag this into the corner like that. Okay, so now if we play the effect, we basically have the entire effect right there. And that one's going from right to left. If we wanted to go the other direction, all we have to do is drag this to the other corner. And now it should go from left to right. And if we want it to go from bottom to top or top to bottom, we just change our angle to 180. And now if we play it, it's going to go from bottom to top. And if we wanted to go from top to bottom, we just have to drag that up to that corner. And then we have top to bottom. And it really is as simple as that. That's all there is to it. Now you can play with these and get these angles to come in at a little bit different angles if you want, but this is just horizontal and vertical, which I think look great as is. Feel free to play around with it and adjust it. I hope you found this helpful and thanks so much for watching.